Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to solve this question called Sherlock and Anagrams, which is a part of dictionary and hash maps of the interview preparation kit on HackRank. And I'm going to solve it using Python. So let's get started. Two strings are anagrams of each other if the letters of one string can be rearranged to form the other string. Given a string, find the number of pairs of substrings of the string that are anagrams of each other. So in this example, S is equal to mom and the list of anagrams are MM, MOOM at positions 0, 2, 0, 1, 1, 2. So at these positions, they have given us the position of the alphabets like 0, 1 is MO and 1, 2 is OM and so on. So the function Sherlock and anagrams has the string parameter, which is the input. And we have to return the number of unordered anagrammatic pairs of substrings in S. Hmm. So in this example where I fail UHKQQ and KKKK are two inputs. For the first one, there are three substrings which is II, QQ and IFA, FAI. And for the second one, there are 10 pairs. So there are six anagrams of the form KK, where 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3 and 2, 3. And then there are three anagrams of form KK twice, which is 0, 1, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 2, 3. Okay, and there's one anagram of the form K three times, which is 1, 0, 1, 2 and 1, 2, 3. Let's get started with this. So first we'll initialize a variable which counts all the substrings. Let's name it as result, which is zero. Then let's run through the string S where we go through each character to analyze if there are any substrings or not. So for I in range, one to length of s let's initialize a dictionary to count the anagram characters which is let's call it d so now that we have a dictionary which is initialized we'll run through s backwards and see if there are any familiarities which we can count as anagrams so for j in range length of s minus i plus one we are doing this because we don't want to repeat iterations and unnecessarily increase steps. Now we'll create a substring which is sub.join sorted s from j to j plus i. You'll understand why we are doing that in a bit. So now that we have a substring, now we'll compare it with dictionary d so if sub not in d then we assign a place for this substring in the dictionary we are doing this because if the sorted substring is present in this dictionary d then irrespective of its orientation it will always be an anagram so instead of looping one more time and comparing two anagrams if they're equal or not we're just counting them in this dictionary which makes it much easier so uh, if the sub is not in the dictionary then we add it in the first place as one and if it is present then we just add one to its previous value and we just add to result the number of substrings that are present and we're subtracting one because if there's only one occurrence of this substring then it won't be an anagram it needs at least two and then over here we return result let's see if this works yep it works great i think it should work for all test cases yeah if you like this video then do drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions that you want me to solve then do drop it in the comments below and i will solve that for you thank you